It really is to where you can tell God, God, I am willing to become everything that you want me to be. That I'm completely, completely sold out to the will of the Holy Spirit. And I don't have any preconceived ideas about my identity. I don't, I don't want what I want. I want what He wants. So if you ask me what I'm going to do, where I'm going to go, and what that's going to look like, I'm going to say, I can't tell you until he tells me. I can't, I can't tell you until he tells me. What's going to be the future of this church? I don't know. I can't tell you. He hasn't told me everything. I believe that everything is going to be well. I believe that we're going to flourish. I believe that God's got great things ahead for us. But what would happen if, God forbid, that the world was turned upside down by limited nuclear warfare? What would happen if we got overtaken as a nation and someone come in and said, no more Bibles, no more church, nothing? He said, well, that, don't, don't make this mistake. But somebody might say, that will never happen. You don't know. But I know this. I know I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And I know that everything works together for my good. And if it does for me, it does for the church. What you have to be concerned about is this. That you remain transformed. And your mind renewed. And that you flow with God. That's the most important thing. As you begin to pray, I want you to ask God. God, help me to get away from me. My preconceived ideas help me to flow with you right now. I just received the goodness of God. I'm learning some things about myself. I rebuke the enemy right now that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I rebuke the devourer in Jesus' name. I rebuke the people that have this mindset, the spirit that's trying to work through these people, that have this mindset that they are the master of their own destiny. I, that spirit's got to go in the name of Jesus. Right now, Lord, we release ourselves into your perfect will. In Jesus' name. Everybody stand on your feet this morning. Just start raising your hands to the Lord. Start raising your hands to the Lord.
We're going to sing a song or two, and then we're going to close out this morning. Would you sing, Sister Amy? adjusted to it 
and you think this is the way things are going to be all the time.